Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Today's video is going to be about a fragrance from the Latafa, or to be more specific, from the Latafa Pride line, the Latafa Alkiam Silver. I received this fragrance about three weeks ago, I've gone through my testing, and in this video I'm going to tell you my honest opinion whether the Alkiam Silver is worth checking out. Before I go through the packaging and the actual scent profile of this fragrance, I have a question for you guys. Uh, have you, uh, are you familiar with the, well that, with the way that Alkiam Silver smells? Uh, have you used to own or own this fragrance? Uh, and what has been your experience with uh, this fragrance? If you have, please use the comment section of this video to let me know. As usual, a quick look at the packaging of this fragrance. Uh, it comes in this black and silver colored box. On the front, the black part, you got the Latafa Alkiam Silver. The name of the fragrance, the uh, concentration, EDP, the bottle size 100 milliliters. On the back there's a sticker of authenticity along with some additional information plus the uh, production date. In this case the production date is January of 2023. You open up the box like this and uh, inside you get this nice little booklet that uh, all the uh, Latafa Pride Lion fragrances can package with. And uh, this is how the actual bottle looks. As you can see again that same uh, coloring black and silver color combination on the front you got Alkiam silver Latafa Latafa on the cap which is nice heavy and metal and the whole bottle looks quite heavy I think all of the uh, pride line fragrances comes in this uh, very heavy uh, weighting uh, uh, glass bottles okay now with the packaging out of the way I'll show you the spray in action and then I'll talk about the actual scent profile of this fragrance Miss the hand here with the first spray. The uh, sprayer is all right, not the best one, but it's not uh, too bad either. And now about the actual scent profile of this fragrance. Now this is the Latafa's take on the Bulgari Tiger DNA. I'm gonna start up with that. Or in other words, if you're familiar with the way that uh, Afnan Sturati Blue smell, this is very very similar to that fragrance as well. Now the official note breakdown of this fragrance lists the following notes. The top notes are grapefruit and ginger, the middle notes are ambroxan and sandalwood and the base notes are vetiver and musk. And what I can say is that for sure there is a very nice grapefruity uh, note in the opening of this fragrance. The grapefruit feels uh, sweet and juicy, very nice and there is a tad bit of a freshness from that the ginger note. So you definitely pick up those two notes. Once this fragrance uh, starts to dry down it starts to uh, become a, a little bit more woody, the sandalwood is definitely there, the ombroxan is quite heavy, this fragrance is heavy on the ombroxan side and on the jeep dry down you definitely pick up a touch of uh, that vetiver and a touch of that musk. Now there are some other things that uh, my nose picks up that are not listed, there's definitely a sweet note in here, I think sort of an ambery note, at least to my nose. Um, so, all in all, you get a nice uh, citrusy, uh, grapefruity opening with a touch of freshness and, and then an oody ambroxan, uh, slightly ambery dry down, sweet dry down. As I said, this fragrance is the Latafa take on Bulgari's Tiger DNA. I've never smelled Bulgari, smelled Bulgari's Tiger, but I own the uh, Afnan Turati Blue and as I said, this is a very similar fragrance to that one. Although this, to my nose, feels a bit more juicy, a bit more citrusy, that grapefruit note here is uh, a bit more realistic compared to the Afnan Turati Blue. Next, let's talk about the performance. When I initially got this fragrance and I did my first few uh, test wearings of this fragrance, I was sort of disappointed of uh, the performance of this fragrance because I was getting something like six to seven hours. But then I decided to let this one sit for a couple of weeks and then reuse it again just to see if uh, that uh, a few weeks of maceration will help. And I can definitely say that after a few weeks of uh, macerating, this fragrance has definitely improved. Or maybe that those uh, initial first few tests that I run, uh, maybe I got nose blind to that fragrance. I don't know, but right now I get about eight to nine hours of performance of this fragrance with pretty loud projection in the first sort of 90 to 120 minutes. In other words, first uh, hour and a half to two hours. So performance is quite good, well above average, and projection is also quite strong with this fragrance. The next thing I want to talk about is the versatility of this fragrance. This fragrance, in my opinion, is quite versatile. 
it's uh, because it's a sort of a blue citrusy uh, sweet type of a fragrance I think the best case scenario best usage scenario for this fragrance is late spring summer and early fall but also it has enough of a performance that it can be used in colder months as well like late fall and winter as well so all in all it's a quite a versatile fragrance it can work in pretty much any type of uh, usage scenario you can use it in the office you can use it through the daytime or through nighttime as well so all in all a versatile fragrance price wise i was able to get the uh, alkyam silver for the roughly the equivalent of around about 35 dollars which is a nice deal because usually from what i've seen online this thing goes from somewhere between 40 to 50 dollars uh, all of the fragrances from the Latafo Pride line are a bit more expensive than their standard fragrances. So price-wise, this goes for somewhere around $40 to $50. And at the end, my honest opinion about the Alkyam Silver, should you, should you check out this fragrance? If you like citrusy, um, spicy, uh, sweet uh, fragrances, uh, something in the style of if you know how Bulgari Tiger smells or if you know like what the Blue de Chanel smells as well, the EDP version especially, this brings sort of a Blue de Chanel vibes as well. If you like those kind of fragrances, then you definitely uh, have to check out the Alkyam Silver. If you know how the Afnan Tirati Blue smells, if, 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 if you have checked that one out, again, you can uh, check the Alkyam Silver because this is sort of a slightly more fruitier, slightly fresher version of the Tirati Blue. If you already own Turati Blue, then uh, I think the Alkyam Silver feels a bit redundant. All in all, I like this fragrance, I like that this DNA, I like the performance. And if you can uh, pick this one up for a reasonable price, somewhere between $40 to $45, again, I think uh, Alkyam Silver is worth checking out. And so guys, in today's video, I told you my honest opinion on whether the Alkyam Silver from the Latafo Pride line is worth checking out. I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.